Traditionally, the ESET Cup Series used to start the season at the Hungaro Ring. Well, maybe that's why the competitors are so looking forward to the race this weekend for the second round of the 2023 series. A race calendar that looks like this. We started off at the Oschersleben. Now we're at the Hungaro ring. We'll go to the Red Bull ring, Moss, Slovakia and Bruno. Well, back to the Hungaro ring. There was changeable weather in the midst. We could have plenty of different conditions. Cool, warm, sunny, cloudy, dry and rainy. Nevertheless, no serious incidents during the races here. And we added a new category as well, the ACCR formula. First up was the field of GT cars, the biggest in Hungary as well after the races dominated by Sanaquada at the Hungara ring. He started from pole here with Libor Milota starting from the second row. I hope that we will have uh, uh, a lot of lucky and I need, or, or, or priority for me is uh, one or two first lap without damage, yes. And I need lucky and I, I think that we will be ready to race. Well, in the field of nearly 30 cars, they all got through the first corners without serious problems. Salakada in the 75 car was out in the lead. Konopka, however, fell back to fifth, but he soon managed to overtake the Lamborghinis, that in the GTC category. Dennis Vazek starting from pole position, the number 100 car, keeping his position ahead of Joachim Halas. A little time later, it was Savitska in the KTM and Kata Travic in the Chevrolet that came together. That would bring out the safety car. The race resumes seven minutes before the end. Salaquada managing to keep the lead. He took victory both overall and in the GT3 category. We had a good start. Uh, and then uh, after we had good fight on the beginning. Uh, I was, I think, a little bit struggling on the beginning, first two laps. And then was a long safety car, which was going quite slow for us. So our pressures was uh, a little bit low after the restart. So I was a little bit uh, sliding away. And he was really pushing, so I was really have to take care to, to keep him behind. In GTC, Joachim Kalas came home the victor. It was nice, although short, uh, yeah, because of the safety car. Uh, but then I managed to again pull away from everybody else and kept pace. And that was basically it. That's what led me to P1. Kovac won the GT4 category. His rivals, Andrzej La and Kozic, also satisfied with their races. Well, it was quite a difficult track. It has several technical corners, a lot of them long, deep breaking distances. I very much like it so far. I'm totally satisfied with the team and the setup's great. The speed's good. Well, Oba dominating in GTX. On Sunday, the GT cars made their way out to the grid. Salaquada again starting on the front row with Konopka by his side. Melotta and Kalas behind on the second row. When the lights went out, it was Salaquada who led into turn one. Konopka and Melotta battling behind in the lead for GTC. It was between the three Lamborghinis. They were all fighting. Jakin Gallas, Matas Pavlic, and Denis Vazek. Slower car there. Philip Salaquada achieving another victory. Libor Milota finishing second in GT3. Peter Vera finishing third. Jakin Galas won in GTC again with Matas Pavlic and Vasak second and third. 
I had fun, so it was a good weekend. Uh, finally, I have some com competition with the Michanek Motorsport, so uh, we can do some nice battles on the track. But uh, yeah, they have a slightly newer car, and I can feel that uh, their tires uh, last a little bit longer. So in the end of the race, <laughs> in the end of the race, uh, I'm struggling, and they just still perform. So it's it's tough. Zino Kovac from the Trevor team took another victory in GT4. In his BMW, his teammate Antal Sigo finishing second. Alexander Ober won the GTX category in his Lamborghini Huracan. Well, here are the results in GT3 race one and two, dominated by Philippe Salacuada. Again, Yakim Galas dominating GTC. And a GT4, again, the same winner, Zino Kovac. Time now for the one-hour endurance race held on the Saturday in the ESET Cup. And it was the duo of Zigo and Verhagen optimistic I'm before the start. For sure. um, I guess we'll have to see. We're going to see how the, the first stint goes. Uh, I think Gregor's going to do a good job, and, and then we'll see from there. As you would expect, cars lining up and fairly respectful into turn one. This, of course, the endurance lead. Salaquada held on to that lead. Libor Melita up to second. Mido Konopka with the LMP3 prototype dropping to third. And then there was contact in turn two. Gregor Zigo in the BMW M4, sending Konopka spinning. Konopka eventually continuing. Zigo retiring from the race. Safety car immediately deployed. The race resumed after 10 minutes. Salaquada easily ahead of Milota and Vida at the Chinec. After Chinecki starting first curve, uh, Gregor touched me and I spun, but nobody crashed me. And after the... It, I start from last position and try step by step and go to second. I think it was a very good race for me. In the GT3 category, Libor Melotta finishing second behind Salaquada. And the team of Peter Mira and Dan Arrow finishing third. In GTC, the duo of Zaruba and Wagner dominated in their Lamborghini. And in GTX, the KTM dominating again. Yannick won. Lisa and Sovitka finishing second. In GT4, it was Zeno Kovacs who won the race. Philippe Sequada out front. Also racing on this weekend, the TCR cars. Third race of the TCR Eastern European First three positions on the grid, locked out by the Hyundai Yannick Motorsport team. Homola taking pole position. Rene Kircher also up there in his Honda Civic. Good position for the race, good starting position with P4. Uh, the first race in Oshleben had a very good pace during the race, so I think it's possible to go on the podium and to win the junior trophy. Well, it wouldn't be a smooth start for the cars as they headed down to turn one. There was chaos down there. That was Rene Kirscher who ran wide. The Hyundai's in trouble as well. Rene Kirscher being passed by Milan Vukovic there. Amola passing count, moving up to fifth. Eight minutes to go. Zepecki ended up in the tyre barriers. The race was finished. I was attacking right from the start, and uh, I managed to be P1 by lap three. And from then on, uh, I knew I, I could uh, hold the place and I uh, could extend uh, my lead. Milan Vukovic, third win of the season, third winner of the season, I should say. And then at the start of race two, Poshek and Petr Fulent Jr., had a very slow start, caused a bit of chaos behind. Luckily, no accidents. Adam Kaut had the best start and went into the lead at turn one. And the fight for the lead continued throughout the first lap between Kaut, Steibel and Kirscher. A little later, Kaut cut the chicane, which was the reason for his 10-second penalty. 
and Hamola dropping down to fifth as well. Meanwhile, Kaut was still leading on track, but right behind him were Kayaya and Kersha and Vukovic, managing to pass Hamandi and Zaipal. I'm the first time on this track ever. So P1 and P2 is a phenomenal result. I'm more than happy also for the team. No mistakes, so it was a great race and my first win in race cars. Well, Rene Kersha there winning the race. Milan Vukovic won race one. Rene Kersha winning race two. Well, the ACCR Formula Championship debuting this weekend in the SA Cup Series. Central European Series. Czech, Croatian, Austrian, Slovakian, Polish and Hungarian competitors pushing the pedals. Well, this year we're starting very positively. We're looking forward to the start. We prepared ourselves for the race at the Hungara Oliver Michel has already raced for us in two seasons. And he's become the champion in this category. Well, Jenza Motorsport teammates Ethan Isha and Renault Frankot starting from the front row. I mean, it will be quite a boring race, I think, if we. Only if we fight a lot with the cars uh, ahead, we are like quite similar in pace. But like I think if we just pull away and we can fight, it will be an exciting race. But if we don't, it will be quite boring. Well, Isha, it was who had the best start, held on to the lead. Salta managing to overtake Frankot, pushing him into second place. Frankot constantly put pressure on Salta, but eventually failed to find the way to overtake. Ethan Isha it was though who won the race. It was quite a good race for me. We overpushed the first lap to try to make a good gap and at the end of the race we tried to make a tire management. So yeah, I was quite happy of the, the race. In the second race, the drivers lined up on the starting grid in the order in which they finished the first race. Ethan Isha started from pole position again alongside Mikhail Sauter. It was a close battle between Isha, slight contact. That damaged Sauter's front wing, had to pit. Isha in the lead, Frankop behind him. There was a close battle for third between Taylor and Michel. Towards the end of the race, though, it was Michel who couldn't find a way to overtake. He didn't sound too disappointed come the end of the race. Definitely at the beginning of the weekend, it's shown that uh, a lot of time has passed until the last time I sat in a car or seriously driven on a weekend. So to see that uh, the, the, what the results were at the weekend's end, uh, I'm quite happy. Well, here are the results. Ethan Nietzsche winning on both accounts. And to sum up, say the competitors, the audience, the organizers could leave the Hungara ring after a fabulous weekend well, we hear from Zuzo here the president of the federation when of we Hungary. are talking about the Hungarian people uh, associating onto the formula one but luckily we have a lot of great events here on the Hungarian just like the v4 asset cup which is a great series and uh, we are very happy to see these fantastic cars and uh, uh, extremely talented uh, uh, racing drivers here at the famous Hungarian circuit well, the third round of the SEC Cup Series takes place on the Red Bull Ring in Austria. That'll be live in May.